I was on the 17-year plan for the bachelors. <laughs> Went to college, got married, left school, came back, got pregnant, left school, had another child, marriage dissolved. I became a single parent and I had to do something so that I could support my children. So I went into audiology. I worked full time or pretty much full time. I went to school full time and I was a full time mom. I felt like I had like five hats on and in the car I'd change from one hat to the other. When my mother died, she left me part of her estate. It was enough that I was like, okay, mom, what would you like me to do with it? And some of it I used to endow a scholarship. I know how difficult it is as a non-traditional student. So I wanted to help them have a little bit easier time. I decided to get a doctor of audiology degree because I had seen so much improvement of people's quality of life as an undergrad, I wanted to continue that so that I could be the one to help people hear again. My name is Teal Palmer, and I am a recipient of the Harold and Lois White Memorial Scholarship. I am now in Rochester, New York, doing my residency. This scholarship being named after Dr. Britt's parents, Harold and Lois White, makes me think that they supported her during any of her challenges in life and to reach her goals. I want to thank Dr. Geneva Britt for setting up the scholarship for students like me. Knowing the long road that it took Dr. Britt to get her audiology degree shows inspiring persistence and drive and it will help me through getting any difficult times that I have knowing that she could do it, that I could do it. And the fact that she would want to help someone who has it kind of easy compared to what she did makes me even more grateful of her support. I would absolutely encourage anyone who is able to support a student going through any kind of program. Having that support from someone encouraged me to get through my program and do the best that I could. If you can't do a hole and dab one to begin with, fine. Just give a little bit this year, and a little bit next year, and a little bit the next year. It gives you a good feeling to know that, that you're helping somebody else and that somebody in the future will say, somebody helped me, and then they can pass it on.